Hello, my name is Lindy. Today we'll be testing out makeup. And what makeup do you ask? The just released, not just released, but just released ColourPop foundation. Now, I've been trying to test this out, but you know, I keep on getting distracted and not doing it on camera, it's like you're doing off camera. But we're gonna officially test it out on camera and we are going to figure out how this stuff works, how long it wears, and if it's actually worth the hype. Which I hope it is, because cheap makeup is always the best makeup, especially when it actually works. So let's hope this crap works. So, today I'll be testing out the foundation, the concealer, the pressed powder, and the loose powder. And... Okay. And the shades that my stuff are all in, I'm extremely pale. And usually the foundations and concealers I get are always too dark for me, but, but, somehow, ColourPop has done it. They have done it to where I have finally gotten a foundation that is somehow too pale for me. I didn't know it was possible. I didn't. I didn't. But somehow this stuff is too pale. Or maybe it's just my color and I'm not used to seeing foundations that are matching me so I feel like I'm more pale than I actually am. I don't know, but we're gonna go ahead and go to the shades. Let's see. So this shade I have for my foundation is Fair 10. I don't think it's even the lightest one. I think it's like the second to lightest, I think. And let's see, I think it's Fair 10 for everything. Well, it's pretty much just Fair for everything. everything. So Fair 10 for the foundation, Fair for the pressed powder, and then, okay, and then translucent for the setting powder. Because I think they have translucent, I think they have a banana shade and then something darker. I think. Okay, so I'm already moisturized, clean faced, primed. By the way, the primer I'm using is the Professional. Technically, this is my first time using it. I was using the mattifying one. I didn't really care for that, but I decided to go with the OG of the Professional primers. I'm going to go with just the normal pore erasing racing primer. So, now that's all finished, I can go in with the foundation. So let's go. Let's shake it up first. And the nice thing, ooh, stuff kind of pops up. The nice thing about this foundation is that the cap has like a lock on it so you can turn it and it locks so that it doesn't actually, you know, get pushed out. It doesn't have a lid, but that's, that's why it has the lock. I mean, personally, whenever I have lids for, you know, my foundation, I end up losing them. Mainly because, like, you know, I'm just stupid and keep forgetting to put stuff back on. And then just walk away from it. Look at that. Is it my color? Is it? Actually, it might be my color. It just makes, I just feel extra pale with this on. So I think my face is just super pink. And then the rest of me is like super white, and then I actually put on my color foundation on, and I'm just really surprised by it. The coverage is actually really nice. I want to say medium coverage, almost like not exactly full, but it's medium. It could be full if you kept on wearing it, but I'm not too huge into layering my foundations because I just feel like I look extra cakey. Well, that's just me, because my skin is like super textured, so I keep layering on more product. And I just got off of doing a, you know, sugar diet, so my face is breaking out like crazy right now, because I'm actually starting to eat sugar again, because I was like, screw it. <sighs> and now I'm breaking out like crazy, because my body's freaking out. I doesn't know what I'm putting back in it. Like at first when I went on the diet, my body was already freaking out. Just because it wasn't used to not eating the way it did, you know. Because I was literally just constantly eating fast food. I was eating Wendy's, McDonald's. And then? Taco Bell. And then? No and then. I, I, that's, that's all I want. The one thing I did not cut out was coffee. I could not cut that out of my life. So I guess that was a little bit of sugar I was having, but legit, like I was getting sick. 
from it because that's how like bad I need the sugar. Now I don't know if it's just me or it might be the primer I bought. But the professional primer I just bought is like peeling up on my skin a little bit. Which I didn't think that was known for doing that. I thought this was like a really amazing primer. Maybe it's the one I bought, you know? Maybe I just didn't shake it up enough. If you guys know of any drugstore primers, let me know because honestly, like, I have not been able to find like one good cheap drugstore primer like even with um setting sprays i don't really care for the setting sprays at the drugstore like i kind of like the infallible l'oreal infallible setting spray a little bit like I, i'm fine with that i like it but you know it's not like my favorite i use it because it's cheap and i have to or it's cheap it's like 12 bucks i think yeah it looks really weird it's not the foundation it's the primer I don't know, maybe I'm just not used to good primers, but it's, I feel like it's making my skin look dry. Like I had the primer on my finger and I was like mushing it together and it was already peeling up on my fingers. Maybe it's actually, it could be expired and I just bought an expired bottle. But now we're going to go on to the no filter concealer from ColourPop. And like I said before, this is in the shade Fair 2. This stuff is super pale, like it's super white. You'll see. You'll see what I'm talking about once I put it on my face. Look at that. Like I can actually highlight my face now with concealer. Usually I can't, because all the concealers I use are darker than you know my actual skin tone. You know what? Maybe it's not the primer, maybe it's the products I'm using underneath the primer, you know. Yeah, cause it's like, it's like, you can't, you, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's like kind of like breaking apart right here. Like it's not agreeing with my face. It's actually sitting on my face. Like it's not melding in with my face or blending into my face. Cause right now I'm honestly trying out the Botonics, Botanics, Botonics, uh, skincare line. I'm trying out a couple of their, their stuff. I mean, I like their stuff. Like, I like their skincare. And the new stuff I just bought, you know, automatically it shows, like, good results on my face. First night I used it. But apparently it doesn't agree with makeup. Or maybe it's not them. Maybe it's just the primer I bought, you know. Because right now it's even peeling up all over the place. Yeah, this is so weird because it's also like making my forehead crease like a lot and my forehead does not crease that much. This is so weird. It's like turning into powder. I don't know you guys. Yeah, it's like making my nose look so dry and it's never not, I mean it's never that dry looking. Yeah, it's creasing a lot. The one thing about this concealer, I will say, is that it does crease. But that is why you go and bake and set the foundation and concealer. Alright, now we're gonna hurry up and go in with the pressed powder. Or not the pressed, the um, we're gonna go ahead and go in with the loose powder. Because I swear I think it is the primer, but it is making me crease like crazy everywhere. Now we're gonna go ahead and just start baking. So we're gonna go ahead. Ah, see? Okay, so before you go and set things in place, you wanna make sure the creases are not creased, you know? You want to make sure we want to blend those out because if you set your face with creases already in your face, you'll just be setting in the creases. And I always crease with my laugh lines. So don't mind me. I'm just a big powdery mess. I'm just a mess. I swear. 
No, but earlier in this month, I was taking the Halo beauty pills, not the Kiwi ones, but the original ones, and they helped so much. Like, my nails were actually, like, getting longer, like, nicely long, you know? Because usually when my nails grow out, they're, like, super thin and they break easily. But then, once I started taking the pills, they started growing, like, healthily, you know? Healthily? They were healthy? Healthy nails. Yeah, they were nice and strong. I didn't really see a difference with my hair, but it might also be because my hair is like really damaged because I'm like always like coloring it and stuff. Um, but yeah, no, I can see a difference in my nails. My skin was looking amazing, but I just got done ordering the new Kiwi pills, and I cannot wait to start taking them because my face needs it. I'm breaking out so much, so much. I need it so much. Tati has done like an amazing job with her pills. Like I'm so proud of her. I'm actually glad that she went out. She went out like the norm of you know the beauty gurus, which I have no problem with. You know the beauty gurus making their makeups. I think their makeups amazing. Like I have like Jaclyn Hill stuff, but um, you know like every almost every beauty guru has some sort of makeup already out. You know I don't think we need more makeup so she went to what she knows which is skin because if you know Tati you know she takes care of her skin her hair her nails everything so nicely so of course she's gonna make something like that which I'm proud of her for and she's done an amazing job but I just cannot wait to get it <sighs> so excited <sighs> hey guys I'm back with my finished look now, after everything was done, it looks better. It does. After I, you know, doused my face in setting spray and and put like highlighter and stuff on it, it it does look it does look better. Does it look at its best? No, but it does look better. I will say that usually I do like the primer I use, so I guess I don't know what happened with that. But, um, the ColourPop foundation, um, the concealer, I like them both very much. They're good for the price that they're at. They're not the best, but they're really good. Um, the foundation has decent coverage, the same with the concealer, but again, you can probably find something that's a little bit better. Um, but it would be pricier, but better. But I do like it. It's a good concealer and foundation. Um, the pressed powder I really like, but the loose powder, not as much. I have certain spots on my skin that it likes to not like um, sink into, it likes to grab onto it and kind of show off those dry spots, not just with today, but with all the days I've been trying it out. I actually haven't found the perfect loose setting powder for me. Like even the Coty Air Spun does the same thing, so it's not something I'm hating on with this powder. Like it's doing the same thing every other powder I've tried is done. The Coty, the Fit Me Loose Setting Powder, this one. Um, hopefully in the future I can get my hands on some Laura, Laura Mercier Loose Setting Powder and I can try that out because I've been hearing really good things about the Laura Mercier Powder and I really think it's going to be better. But um, other than that, you know, again, the Concealer and Foundation is fine. Yeah. Yeah, other than that, the foundation and the concealer are really good. Um, the foundation and concealer lasts maybe about the six to eight hours, uh, I would say. I mean, I wouldn't wear your foundation for longer than that because you really shouldn't be because it's going to like, stain on your skin, it'll break out your skin, it'll clog your pores, all that good stuff. But if you really need to, I would kind of lay low with the powder, not do as much and push during the makeup so you can touch up your makeup during the day. Because usually you do not want to put, you know, your liquids on top of your powders because then it'll just get really cakey and like really nasty and might even separate eventually. But um thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want me to try anything else out very late in the game, just let me know. Um I do have something coming up. I want to try out. It's possibly even one of the new Jack and Hill vault palettes. I'm also late in the game with that, but it's fine. Um, 
Bay again. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe, comment, like, share. Um, I really don't know a good outro. What is not an awkward outro? Do I just like phase myself out while I keep and continue talking? Because you guys don't really hear me talking. Ha. Huh? You could just go with an awkward one. But anyway, thanks guys for watching. See ya.